Tukum launched with uh, laser-like focus on a well-defined mission. Uh, it was to solve the 72-hour problem, a very specific gap in service that created unnecessary turbulence for children in their first three days of foster care. And we tackled the 72-hour problem by opening a volunteer staffed facility where children from our community can spend their first three to six days in foster care. It's called Skookum House and it's been open for uh, just over a year. And all along I've said that the 72, 72 hour problem is representative. It's just one in a category of systemic weaknesses that an organization like Skookum Kids is uniquely equipped to address. Now I was hesitant to say that our mission was to repair the foster care system. That's what I wanted to say. Um, and that's what I wanted to accomplish. But somehow, saying so out loud felt a little too brash to me. You know, there's a lot of really smart, really talented, passionate people who work in and on the foster care system every day. And then here we come. Oh, we're here to fix the foster care system. Ah. I don't want us to think more highly of ourselves than we ought. We need to be humble, but ambitious. But to be honest, you know, that's the mission I want to take on, to repair the foster care system by eliminating the pain points that cause unnecessary stress for foster parents and social workers alike. That's always been my hope. Let's face it, the foster care system has bad UI. There are some really basic Happen, ev happens every week kind of things that are, for no good reason, much, much harder than they need to be. And I want to fix those things. Now, no single one of these things alone makes foster parents quit. No foster parent ever hung up their license because they got called in the middle of the night about a child in need. But add to the high pressure, uh, inconvenient phone call, the fact that you can't get time off that you were promised, and the fact that the feeling that you're grossly misunderstood by all of your non-foster friends and then a whole bunch of other stuff. And for some foster parents, it just all accumulates to, into too much. And so they quit. And suddenly there's fewer of those smart, talented, passionate people who work in and on foster care every day. And ultimately, that's why I got into this game, to prevent that. So here it is. Skookum's mission is to repair the foster care system by eliminating the pain points that cause unnecessary stress for foster parents and social workers alike. Now, that's a big ambitious goal. And sometimes big ambitious goals run the risk of being too vague to be useful. So we've chosen to narrow our focus um, by um, uh, uh, working at first on four strategic priorities. Emergency placements. We, uh, when we launched Skookum House, we stuck our collective finger in the dike, and now we need to persevere. We're doing great work on that front. We need to continue to do great work. Foster parent anonymity. Uh, there's a lot of dangerous misinformation about foster parents and foster parenting out in the world, and we can do some of that by telling the gripping true stories of real-life foster parents. Hence, WhatcomFosterFamilies.com. Relative caregivers. Did you know that um, nearly half of all kids in foster care in our community never set foot in a foster parent's house? They're cared for by aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas. And these relative caregivers don't have access to the same support and resources that traditionally licensed foster parents do. And that's wrong. Uh, and we can change it. Respite care. Uh, foster parents are promised time off when they need it, uh, but that promise is rarely kept. Uh, Skookum will soon be able to license its own foster homes so that we can help uh, keep that promise. So there you have it, our uh, mission and strategic priorities. You want to help us accomplish this? Visit skookumkids.org give to make a financial contribution. Um, thanks in advance.